Hello everybody, welcome back to Vlogmas. It is, I think, day eight when this is going up. Ow. And today we're gonna be doing a fun one. I actually did this one last year. We're gonna be associating books with my Spotify wrapped. So last year what I did is I just shuffled, I believe, five random songs, but this year I thought it would be fun to do my five top songs. There is actually my Spotify wrapped. Oh my gosh, my graduation gown is back there. Yeah, so these are my top five songs. I honestly was shocked by them, especially with ceilings. I don't know why that was my top. I know that it got super popular. I love Lizzie McAlpine. If you can't tell, she has another song on my top five. But I just thought it was kind of funny and silly. Um, but my friend Grace actually had the same top song, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, we're just going to be talking about some book recs for um, the songs. Some books that I kind of associate with the songs um, or songs that kind of fit the book. Anyways, we're gonna get into this. I know this is a little later into Bookmas, which my goal is to have this be the first of Bookmas, but this, these past couple weeks have been very interesting. But anyways, by interesting, I just mean busy. Busy. Busy? Wow, I can't talk. I'm just gonna go ahead and get into this. This is gonna be a pretty quick video. The first song, like I said, is Ceilings by Lizzie McAlpine, and the book's I have two of them that I associated that with this is Every Summer After by Carly Fortune, which this is kind of a second chance romance in a sense. You could also say Love in Other Words now that I'm thinking about it because those two books are very similar, but both of those, um, I, I don't know that I just thought of those books when I saw the song and I was like, oh yeah, I, I don't really know what Ceiling's about. I think it's about like a love that they thought was there but then it's kind of taken away and I think those two books do that I mean obviously you're gonna get a different type of name or a different kind of ending but I definitely recommend that then I was doing some research and I saw a girl recommend call me by your name by An uh, Andre Asiman I think that's his name I read this a few years ago I do think it's beautiful writing um, I also really enjoyed the movie and it is a relationship between um, two men. One is younger, I will say. I don't really like the age gap because he's underage, so just keep that in mind. Um, but it just has very beautiful writing, and I agreed when I saw this. I think it was a TikTok that I saw where she recommended this. Um, just the both the songs, although the book may not relate to the song, even though like it 100% probably does, it it waits. It 100% does. Call Me By Your Name 100% fits ceilings, but um, they're just both so beautiful, so definitely recommend that. The next book on my Spotify wrapped was Henna Tattoo by Feel Medic. I honestly thought this was going to be my number one song. I love this song so much. My friend um, Jamie actually recommended it, and it was so, so good. I have I had no idea who Feel Medic was before this year. I don't remember when I started listening to it but yeah it was my <laughs> number two song which again crazy but I'm so happy so basically this song to me is it's kind of like a love triangle and the like the speaker of the song or field medic I don't know it's probably fictional who knows is it's kind of like a transient relationship and like is this gonna last type of thing and so that's kind of the vibe that I was getting so the book that I actually recommended, which I have never read this book, so keep this with a grain of salt, but I know that it has a love triangle and I feel like it's something similar to what the song is doing, is Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. I think that's her name. Uh, again, this is on my TBR. I haven't read it, but I've heard a lot of good things about it and what I've heard is why I am recommending it. I could be totally, totally wrong on this connection, but yeah, I love it. I love it so much. And yeah, I think you guys should go listen to that. My friend Gabe and well, Gabe's obsessed with it. Anna, Ruth and Grace are all obsessed with it. Just listen to it. It's an amazing song and it's, it's unlike anything you've probably ever heard. So go listen to it. I need to drink my, my tea. My next song is Foolish One by Taylor Swift. Of course, my top artist had to be on here somewhere and three is my favorite number. So it kind of is fitting that she's in the third spot. It's kind of funny to me that Foolish One made it to my um, top songs because Foolish One came out in July <laughs> and they only track through, what is it, October, maybe a little bit of November. I love this song so much. It is also a little bit about a love triangle in a way where you have this man, assuming, assuming, uh, assuming man, who is entertaining the voice of the song while also entertaining another woman 
um, at least from my interpretation. And the woman or the the speaker or the voice of the song is completely infatuated with this man and they keep on assuming or more like hoping that it'll work out but it, it won't. Um, and I, it's such a good song, I 100% recommend it. And the two books that I recommended for this was Beach Read by Emily Henry. I feel like that doesn't really fit the way I just described the song. But I think there's just like something about it that reminded me of Beach Read. I also just wanted to put Emily Henry on here, of course. So definitely Emily Henry's um, Beach Read. And then another book that I haven't read, but I feel like fits this, like this, uh, the plot of Foolish One, maybe apart from like the love triangle aspect is Sable Peak by Debbie Perry. This actually I think is, it came out today when I'm filming this. So yesterday, um, whenever you guys are watching this, or I think it came out December 7th. Let me just use dates. And I, I'm so excited for this. It's kind of about unrequited love, but I, I think, and that's like kind of what the song is about, but yeah. Oh my gosh, I just, I have to listen to all these songs now because they're just, it's just reminding me how good they are. This one I have is Where Do We Go Now? And I love Gracie Abrams. She is incredible. I was really excited I got to see her open for Taylor Swift this summer. 